All right, welcome everybody. My name is Alan Foster. I'm a Reddit moderator. I mod for some of the communities like the subreddit Mindfulness, NFTs, GPT-3, stuff like that. So right now, this presentation is being given to the Reddit developers community, also known as Devit. We're here in the Discord. That's why you can probably hear some of the joins and leaves. So this is Project Hestia. Hestia, for those of you who don't know, is the Greek goddess of the hearth, home, and family. Her role was mostly known for maintaining domestic order and harmony. My wife came up with the name. I think it's fantastic, so we went with it. This is a bot that I'm building as a not-for-profit project, so any funding that it receives is going to go straight back into the bot. I've cited all my sources in the bottom, but I recommend that everybody do their own research into this. I'm not a mental health expert. No, you don't really have to be just to learn more about this, so I do strongly recommend all these links will be in the description too. So I am building a mental health auto-comment bot. In some communities, like the subreddit Mental Health, up to 33% of posts are still unanswered after 60 minutes. And this can get really bad on subreddits like Suicide Watch, mm -hmm. where you're, there's just so many new posts of people asking for help that they go completely unanswered. Up to 50,000 US mm -hmm. citizens, or about a little less than 170 per day, are committing suicide every year, 50K citizens. Which, based on the statistics, two in five of those are under the age of 30, and about 44% of people within the United States under 30 use Reddit, which means from those numbers you can estimate that about 30 US Reddit users commit suicide every day. And so the current solution that we have right now, you've probably encountered this bot, is the Reddit Care Safety Bot. It's, it's actually very helpful. I've seen people post on Reddit about that they received resources from this bot and it was very helpful. So it is doing some good, unless it's being used for spam. And one of the known tactics that spammers will use is report your content saying that individuals need help when they really don't. So it can be annoying. I wouldn't recommend removing it though. The problem with this program is that it requires an active report from a user. So somebody has to go out of their way to utilize this tool. And all the responses are exactly the same. It's very generic. It links people to resources, which is a good start. So Project Hestia was designed as a debit bot that responds to mental health posts that had zero comments after 15 minutes. So what this bot does is it uses ChatGPT and the OpenAI API to personalize content to leave very simple comments. So I have some real examples of this working. What I did is I've spent weeks crafting a ChatGPT prompt to respond to different users. These, everything you see here, the response that I created and I posted, like I, I manually reviewed the text and posted it myself as a comment on my profile. So here is one post. This one here, it's about an individual with anorexia. Um, I'm not going to read the original post, I'll read the response, right? The response goes, I'm really sorry you're feeling this way. It's important to listen to your body and those who care about you. Starving yourself can be very dangerous. Please consider talking to a doctor or mental health professional about what you're going through. Your health and well-being matter a lot. This was posted after three hours of this person not receiving any emotional support or help. There, there is no solution here, right? It's not encouraging them, you know, consider talking to a doctor, but it's not saying you need to talk to a doctor. It's built around an eighth grade reading level. So it's designed so that even individuals who do not speak English as a primary language can still understand what it's saying. The second example I have, right? This is an individual who lost their best friend, right? The response is, I'm so sorry for your loss. It's normal to feel numb and overwhelmed. Grieving takes time and it's okay to feel how you feel. Maybe talking to a counselor can help. You're not alone, and there are people who care about you. Take one day at a time. Again, fully AI generated. The only response, this one was a little bit sooner after 22 minutes, but hey, they got one comment, right? They haven't gotten any upvotes, but they have received one comment on their post. And that might be all they receive. Hopefully other people respond. The third example is really why I created this bot. Basically, it's somebody with a fear of eye contact. This is a very long post. Some posts were three times longer than this, right? Where it would take five to 10 minutes to try and read. Some of the grammar wasn't too excellent. And so fighting to work your way through, the response was, again, very simple. I'm sorry you're feeling this way. It's okay to struggle with eye contact and smiling. You're not a bad person. They talked about that. That is pulling directly from the content. Therapy can help, but sometimes it's hard to express everything. Take small steps and be kind to yourself. Basic comments so that people can see that at least people are reading and listening to them. This is what I've been able to get up and running is simple action. So it responds to posts, responding to private messages, 
identifying if a post is off topic and ignoring it. It could be designed to do more com complex actions. So deleting negative karma self comments. So if, if it leaves a comment and that comment goes down to negative one karma, it should probably remove itself because obviously it, it isn't a very good comment if people are downvoting it. Tracking thank you responses or comments, offering full data analytics. I broke down the finances for this because you know it's important, right? You, you can't just throw money into the void. You have to see how much something like this will actually cost. Right now, the API message cost is about two and a half cents per message. Depending on how advanced the block gets, it could go up to five cents. I'll talk about that in a moment. Assuming some uh, subreddits are busier than others, I put an average comment value of 10. This is unrespond, uh, posts that have no response after 15 minutes, right? 10 on average, running around the clock. So it's going to get maybe 250 a day. Um, it'll probably peak during heavy Reddit user times. So the average cost per subreddit comes to around $2,250. I located eight subreddits that it would be good to pilot in. Assuming even just, you know, allowing for maybe it's 30% more expensive than I expect, it's a little less than $25,000 to keep it running in eight subreddits around the clock. That would respond to 730,000 posts that get zero responses. My goal was for this bot of the 30 individuals within the U.S. that are losing their lives every day to try and prevent two suicides. I don't think it's unreasonable to try and because that's it's uh, 50,000 US citizens that does not include Europe, Asia, everywhere else. The value per statistical life. This is one of the things that is very important is to identify how much is it costing to save a person it comes to a little more than $30. This number is difficult to put into context. So let me put it this way. The amount of money invested for giving people vaccines in developing nations is between 50 to $100 per person, which means, I mean, bug nets, right, to prevent malaria are $50 a person. And so I think that really shows exactly how bad the mental health crisis has gotten. It's, I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed, I think is a good way of putting it. If, if you were to do this work manually with humans, Right. One of the things that you could do is outsource this to a developing nation where the hourly wage is about three dollars per hour. And if you had three employees working eight hour shifts around the clock, because that's what you would need for something like this, having to read those incredibly long posts that, you know, some of them were twice or three times longer than the longest one that I showed you, that would cost seventy five thousand dollars per year. If you paid them living wages within you know, a developed nation, it would be more than 350 grand. So something like this is incredibly valuable. These were the original pilots that I was interested, or the original subreddits I was interested in piling in. So mental health, suicide watch, self-harm. So how to help, right? Because I'm like, I'm a normal person and I do not have an education in this. I just noticed this and I realized that I could build a very simple solution. One of the things that I need help with is introductions to moderators or decision makers within these communities. Um, there's probably other communities that this would work very well in, mostly because I, I can reach out to them directly. They're going to think that I'm some weird, crazy person. I would be very grateful if an admin can get involved with this. One of the things that we're interested in doing is applying to community funds. So if you're not familiar with this program, I highly recommend you check it out for your subreddit. You can request up to $50,000 for every year, every calendar year, for a project that you can do. It would be nice to have the actual Reddit safety admin team just reach mm -hmm. out to me directly because it can take upwards of 10 weeks to get approved for community funds funding. I'm also looking for individuals who are willing to donate their time, as I have been, for new feature development. And that's what I've been working on for less than two weeks. This is a new project. My name's Alan Foster. You can reach me on Reddit. You can reach me on Discord. I'm active in the Reddit Mods Discord, which there'll be an invite in the comments for that or the description for that. You can reach me through the Devit Discord. That's pretty much it. Thank you very much for your time.